Okay, we rotated the integral from 0 to 2, x over e to the x minus 1, dx. And you may notice this is one that I already did recently. This is going to be an alternative method. In the first video on this, I used geometric series, just kind of noticing that the if we just rearrange the denominator, we can have this in the form of like 1 minus e to the minus x. What I want to do in this video, I think, is a little more straightforward and possibly quicker. I just want to use integration by parts using the di method on it. So what I can do is we can just differentiate the x, because that's going to differentiate down to a constant. And then we'll integrate 1 over e to the x minus 1. But just noticing, if you multiply in e to the minus x over e to the minus x here, I can write this as e to the minus x 1 minus e minus x. So now differentiating over here, derivative of x, that's just 1. If we integrate this, well, we'll do it really quick over here just to see, see what we'll use. We'll use this form of it. Now, if you do a u substitution on this, what's going to happen is the derivative of 1 minus e minus x, that's just going to be exactly what we have up here. So this thing's just going to be du over u. We integrate it, we get ln of u. I'm going to drop the absolute value because our bounds are always positive, and so e to the minus x is always going to be positive. And then, we'll, and then, of course, we'll plug our u value back in and we'll get natural log 1 minus e minus x. So then we have part of our solution on the diagonal. Let's write that down. x natural log 1 minus e minus x. And we need to evaluate that from 0 to 2. This row is going to be an integral. It's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of just this piece right here. Now, for this first part, we can just evaluate it if we plug... 2 in, we're going to get 2 natural log 1 minus e to the minus 2. Let's write it as 1 over e squared. And then now on this part, I don't know yet, so I'm just going to stall and rewrite it. So we'll have the same integral right here. Now, actually, for this thing right here, the first thing I want to do is let's do a u substitution to clean it up, just getting rid of this e minus x. So if I set u equal to e minus x, take natural log on both sides, Natural log of e, here we'll just write it out. So this is going to be like natural log e minus x. I can bring this out front, but natural log e is 1. So what we have is natural log of u equals minus x. But then let's just take the minus sign on the other side of the equation. Let's get a derivative to get our dx values. So we're going to have dx is going to be minus 1 over u du. I think I'll work these two pieces in parallel. So here I want to get a common denominator. So I can write this as like e squared minus 1 all over e squared. Just writing the 1 as e squared over e squared. Then over here we'll substitute. So I need to plug a 2 in here. That's going to be e to the minus 2 or 1 over e squared. And then you plug a 0 in here. That's just going to be 1. This whole thing here is just going to become natural log 1 minus u dx is going to be minus, I'll use the minus sign to make this a plus, and we're going to end up with just u du. And actually, let's switch this back. I'm going to keep this as a minus sign, and instead, let's use to flip the bounds around, just because 1 is going to be greater than 1 over e squared. And then we can split up this part. So with the property of logarithms, we can turn this, we can turn the division into subtraction. So we get 2, natural log, e squared minus 1, Subtracting off the second part, we're going to have minus 2, natural log e to the 2. But the 2 I can take out front, natural log e is just 1. So multiplying 2 times minus 2, this thing is going to be minus 4. Then for this integral, I'm going to rewrite this and kind of force the lower bound to be 0. So this is going to change it for a second. Instead of having 1 over e squared, we'll go to 0 here. And so then I'm not changing it. Let's subtract off the area that we added so we can create another integral from 0 to 1 over e squared of this same stuff. Just try to make this clear with a really very rough graph. No idea what this function looks like right now. But let's just say we get something like this. And this is our curve between 1 over e squared and 1. Well, what I did here is change it and extended it out to 0. But then what I did here is did something else from 0 to 1 over e squared. So by creating this integral to subtract off this little chunk, I've actually just put this back and subtracted off this. And this would be the graph of what we started with. So I hope that makes sense right there. So hope that's not too confusing. 
But now from here on each of these integrals, what we can do is use our definition for the dilogarithm. So we have our definition up here to the right. Just notice it basically matches what we have down here. The input on the function is just this upper bound as long as the lower bound is zero. So we have this one's a one. This is going to be one over e squared. We just have to keep in mind this minus sign right here. So what's going to happen inside the parentheses, this right here, this is going to be dilogarithm of the upper bound, just one. But because we don't have the minus sign, let's reverse the sign and write it as minus dilogarithm of one. And then over here, this is just going to be plus dilogarithm one over e squared. But then I can just distribute the minus sign in here. Minus times minus is plus. Over here, I'll make this one a minus. And I'll just make a little space for the final solution on this thing. Now for dilogarithm of one, let's just go to our series definition for the dilogarithm. And I'm going to just take this and we'll plug in a one on it. So this is going to become the sum from one to infinity of one to the n. That's just one over n squared. But this thing's just the Basel problem, or pi squared over six. So we can plug in pi squared over six down here. And so putting it all together for my final solution, we have just two natural log e squared minus one minus four plus pi squared over six minus dilogarithm one over e squared. And that's it. Okay, there you go. Nice alternative method using integration by parts. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.